Today we're talking about Supo Man. Welcome to Kubera. That was such a lame intro, but this is interesting. This guy had a very large channel. I mean, over 100,000 subscribers. It takes an enormous amount of time, energy, and even capital to invest into a YouTube channel. Don't believe me? Start your own. Try and get to 100,000 engaged loyal subscribers who come back view most of your videos and not only do they view them but they interact because interaction engagement that's actually one of the most important things on YouTube when an audience just views or even doesn't engage at all doesn't click on any of your videos it's just sub for sub well that doesn't work so that's why you don't see like the people who sub for sub at the top because they, they don't have an engaged audience anyways so we're talking about Superman today because he is one of the major channels in the cryptocurrency world. So I made this channel because I wanted to discuss cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Alcoin, and I wanted to focus more on my main channel about some other stuff. I just wanted to get it all pinpoint, okay? And here, it kind of gives me a little bit of freedom, although we do have to be kid-friendly and advertiser-friendly, but... I thought it'd be interesting to kind of talk about the other YouTubers in this niche since I've been looking at Superman for the past couple of weeks. I've been looking at High on Coins, I've been looking at Box Mining, all these other guys, Trevon James, Craig Grant, I've been looking at them, I've been studying them, and I like observing other people because sometimes you're able to learn a lot of nice things from them. For example, Superman has two channels. One is his large channel, which is a little bit strange because you have over 100,000 subscribers. I mean, over 150,000, and I mean, those are numbers that at that point, once you get past that and you have a loyal, engaged audience with over 14 million views, you're able to get from, I mean, if you're able to get from zero to 100,000, that's amazing in itself, but from that point, it's easier to get from 100,000 to a million, and then from a million to 10 million, and then so forth and so forth, and once you get past a couple hundred thousand subscribers, you're able to earn six figures even if you're in a bad paying niche, which is interesting because he just stopped uploading five months ago, which that makes you think. Now, I understand there's certain case scenarios where, I mean, anything from strikes to maybe he just gave up or didn't really feel passionate about it, but that's kind of something... I, I, I saw it, I was like, huh, I wonder. So anyways, he has a second channel, which he sort of had uh, not much success with. Like, if you look at some of his older videos, Superman Udemy. But hey, that's the thing with YouTube. You try out different niches. I've had plenty of channels that didn't work out, that failed. And I've had plenty of channels that did very well. I sold out. And I made a lot of money. However, the thing was, I, I do miss them. I, I wish I didn't sold out. And that's why I have these channels, which hopefully nothing happens to them. And hopefully I don't decide anything silly, but I learned my lesson. After after you learn the lesson multiple freaking times, you understand. <sighs> Anyways, so we're talking about YouTube and cryptocurrencies because I was looking at one of Superman's latest videos and I saw that, well, it was one week ago and he hasn't really been posting often, which is kind of strange because he transformed Superman Udemy. He runs Udemy courses, which are pretty nice. I mean, it takes a lot of effort, time, like Superman. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, just like to high-end coins. I see that you're a brilliant individual because you organized something that earned you a lot of money. And that's that's awesome. That's, hey, all, all, all the power to you. But anyways, so there are some bad things where it's just like I've noticed, like, huh, you went from uploading, like, just pumping out content, going ham. A lot of people are viewing the engagement is incredible with cryptocurrencies. And yet... You stop uploading and I see that the like-dislike ratio has been a little bit messy lately and I wonder why and then I check the comments and I see, oh yes, it's because you were promoting Chaincoin. Now I don't want to talk too much about Chaincoin because I think that topic's kind of boring. You already know how I feel about that. I think some people made money obviously because the people at the top and then everyone else pretty much lost their money. I've had people who are just like, Gosh, Mike, I regret not selling when you told me to because it was like I earned triple, I earned quadruple, and now it's like I'm in, I'm in the negatives. I see red. And there was everybody out there who was pretty much promoting Chaincoin. I even had people message me on Skype. They're like, yo, you need to make a Chaincoin video because you're going to get views. Like, make it super positive. And I was just like, 
why would I do that? Like, I, I really don't care about the views. A lot of people, funnily enough, like, like I do care about the views, but a lot of people thought that, oh, you got your subscribers and views to, to Chaincoin. No, it's because I'm a marketer and this is actually like my hundredth channel or 107 or 108. I've worked with many companies before. I'm a freelancer. I've owned my own company. I've owned so many pages that it's kind of like a formula. Once you know what to do, it just takes a lot of time to get there. But eventually this channel will reach 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, and it's probably going to be a little bit faster because there's more momentum on this channel than my main channel. But anyways, so I wanted to make videos about those topics, Chaincoin, because I thought it was entertaining, but also I saw it for what it was. Now I'm trying to help some of you guys as well, but the main thing was I, I, I just don't understand. There's so many people who are just believing. It's kind, it's kind of like the Jim Jones scenario where I, I just don't understand. There's those who are so stubborn and they're not going to just, even if you give them all the tools, they will simply ignore you and they will be left alone in their own little hole, surrounded by other people who are also stuck and they're fine being stuck in this hole that keeps getting worse and worse. But anyways, so Superman has been getting a lot of hate and a lot of these other YouTubers have been getting a lot of hate for promoting ICOs, cloud mining, pump and dumps, uh, pretty much everything you can think of that has been going bad. And some of these guys have been probably paid, some of these guys have been, have been getting mad money from the fact that they own parts of this. While other guys, I'm, I'm sure that there has to be at least a couple who didn't weren't affiliated whatsoever, but they at least wanted the views and the subscribers, so that's why they came on board the train. And turns out that most of the people realize it for what it is right now. Now I do kind of want to want to do my old, you, you know how I am on my main channel. I'd be going a little bit more energetic about this, but I want to, I want to make it kid friendly still, but you know how I feel about this. It's just, it's amazing. It's hilarious to me. It's like, ah, oh, it's right there. It's right there. Why are you promoting this? It's going to fail soon. I don't want it to be like, you know, the whole law of attraction thing. Like, if you're making it seem bad, it's going to be bad because people see it and they're like, oh, they associate it's psychology. But like, no, there's just nothing going for Chaincoin and most of these ICOs and pump and dumps and cloud mining. Oh, gosh, I'm making a video tomorrow because I had that on the list for so long and this is amazing Genesis mining like I am just so happy because <laughs> uh, oh my goodness trust me I have so many videos that will be coming out over the next couple of weeks just discussing all these things which are like oh my goodness a lot of newbies are falling in traps by the way, sorry that I'm not dressed up and my hair didn't get cut today and all this stuff. I just, I had to turn on the camera. I had to go with this. Supo Man has a lot going for him. He's made a lot of money through Udemy. He has an amazing engaged audience on his channels and especially his Facebook page. But unfortunately, whether he was paid to or whether he wasn't, I mean, he was incentivized by something, of course, but as all of us are. A lot of his subscribers and fans realize that he's not engaged and he may not care. Now, Superman probably still has time to repair his reputation. However, it's definitely taken a toll. And people don't like the fact that he promoted certain coins which have lost a lot of people money. There's also some other things, but I just wanted to say, like, Superman, I don't know, it's kind of strange how he just doesn't really, like, respond to the situation. He just runs away from it. Like, you have a lot going for you. You could be at 1 million subscribers if you really wanted to, but it's just, I, I don't understand as most of these guys could. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you used to run pump and dump groups. Oh, you're just like these people. Well, the thing is, I don't care about short-term fireworks anymore. Believe me, I am a very greedy individual. I'm admitting it on camera. You knew about this since day one. I don't really lie about things. I'm pretty honest about it. Like, I love money. I absolutely love money. And do you know why I prefer YouTube? and social media marketing and all of this stuff because I see more money in it 
than these short-term fireworks like ICOs and pump and dumps. I've been offered some insane opportunities from investors over the past couple of months, most of which I still haven't shared with you. And it's it's just incredible. I, I turned down a lot of these opportunities because I'm just like, you know what? It's a lot of money, tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it's a firework. I just don't see a future with it. Sure, even if you made $1 million, that's a lot of money. But invest your time and efforts into something that you see like yourself doing five years from now, 10 years from now. There's more money in the long term than there is in the short term. Now, most of these guys aren't going to get to even 500,000 subscribers or 1 million subscribers. I, however, am going for the long game and... I learned from my mistakes. I sold out on many channels before, but we're slowly building a YouTube network. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going for those million dollar clubs and million follower clubs. Oh gosh. I don't know, I just see a lot of potential. It's just like you, YouTube. What is YouTube? What are videos? It's all about you. You are able to do what I did. You're able to do what Superman did, what High on Coins did, what anybody is doing, what Casey Neistat is doing, what Ray William Johnson did. You're able to even do better than me, than those guys, than anyone. You're able to create your own thing. And that's amazing. I see a lot of opportunity for everybody on YouTube and social media in general. Maybe that's why I love social media so much and cryptocurrencies. I see a lot of new emerging markets, especially in countries like Poland, where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency doesn't even really, there's not a lot of people who are interested in it, but the interest is definitely there and it's growing. Anyways, so I'm making this video because I just wanted to talk about Superman and some of these other channels that I will be discussing about in the future. What happened to Superman? I'm kind of curious, but here's what I believe. I think that he got a little bit stressed out from the comments and from some of what happened. I'm not sure whether he got paid or was part of the ICOs and stuff that, you know, he was promoting that didn't really work out. If he wasn't, well, you know, at least at this point, he should come out and admit his mistakes and try and rebuild his reputation. Seriously, I'm not trying to rat on anybody in the community. I'm not trying to start drama. I think there's a lot of good individuals out there. And even if there's a bad individual, they have a lot of opportunities present for them. And I think they should capitalize on those opportunities, as should you guys. So, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of sad to see, even though these guys are technically my competition... Even though these guys are technically my competition for views, for subscribers, for all of this stuff, I think in terms of laws of abundance, I think there's so many viewers, so many marketing platforms out there, and it's just like, I, I don't care. In the end, I want to see more people at the top. I don't want to be the only one up there because it gets lonely. I think there's plenty of room for everybody out there. Now, my channel may be small on here, but if you look at my main channel, that one's only like a year old and already it's kind of like growing. It's steadily growing. I have a very engaged audience and this channel has had already an immense amount of momentum over the past week and a half. I see good things for this channel. I see good things for the other channels. However, if they decide to give up, well, that's their own fault. And, you know, I, I just don't want them to regret their own decisions. Superman, if you're watching this, you made a lot of money probably from Udemy and maybe YouTube and other stuff, but you have plenty more money coming towards your way, but you have to rebuild your reputation. Anybody else who's made their subscribers sad, well, you have to come out, you have to be honest about what happened, and um, yeah, try and fix the situation. Be a man. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be fair and honest. Anyways, my name is Mike. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, boy, tomorrow the video about Genesis Mining is coming up, which... I have a lot to say about that. I have a lot to say about cloud mining. <laughs>